<laughs> well, there's the little daughter, little gold digger. <laughs> She's like a Japanese girlfriend, man. She hangs out on this carpet. <laughs> I mean, carpet. This uh, cardboard. They're all night. There's the daughter. There's the little daddy. Little panda cat, huh? Right? You jumped up there. You want to jump? Your food's right there, dude. You jumped up there. You don't want to go up there? There. See, he, he's meowing now, too. They're both here together, and they don't fight. They don't fight. There you go. I'll bring it down here for you. <laughs> there you go. Okay? He's a little lush. It's amazing he's shy still, even though I pick her up. That's, I'm pretty damn sure this is her daughter. This is his daughter. So. Well, hopefully I'll get her in there on Wednesday. So, to the place. They're both here. Both here on the steps going. Meow, 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 meow. She meows mostly, then he'll meow a little bit. <laughs> that's what the, I'm pretty sure that's the uh, daddy. Right? That's your daddy? You didn't even hiss at him this time, did you? Did you? I didn't hear you hiss once. That's bitch, but you had a traumatic little experience, man. <clears throat> like Bill Clinton got jumped, jumped you and you got pregnant or something, right? So. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's, that's okay. You can have your abortion now because the Catholic Church says in the case of, uh, you know, underage rape, you know, it's okay. Uh, that's probably what it was with you. Anyway. I don't know, man. She's a sweet cat. <clears throat> She's a sweet cat. She hangs here all day. Doesn't leave. She's a little sweet cat. There's my panda. I'm, I'm only a few feet away from him. See? Right there. That's not zoom. That's regular. Foot and a half away. He's not even going nowhere. <clears throat> it looks further in the camera. He's a calm cat too, man. He's not fixed. Boots is not fixed. I don't know. She's got to get fixed up. I don't know what happened to Onyx. So she should be coming. She might be coming around at night. I don't see her. I mean, I'm not 24 hours a day. <laughs> it's you, huh? Oh, I put some. Uh, this is uh, Willard water and not pure. You can see it's a little bit taint colored. So I put a uh, little Willard water, water, sprayed it in there. So she's got a little bit of that. You know, they tell you that it works great with the animals, the plants, people, as a nutrient uptake of catalyst, right? Oh, you know, yeah, here's my flag blowing out there in the breeze. Look at that. Wow, isn't that sweet? Gold General Forest. Da -da 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 -da. I'm actually seeing a couple. Oh, you're going to jump down? I've actually seen a couple more of those flags blowing around. Yeah, here's the other one. Yesterday I saw a couple more of them. Somebody else, some other people were flying them. What are you doing, little baby? Huh? Well, if I get her inside, she's going to be on me like glue. She's like a Japanese girlfriend, man. She don't go nowhere. Right? Miss Dedicated? Huh? That's what you are. You don't go nowhere. That's what you are. Yeah, I was making a remark she was nesting, but um, technically nesting is 12 to... 12 hours to 20, well, I guess about a day from 
48 hours to 12 hours before they go into labor to start nesting. But she's, I don't know, she just, <laughs> she just doesn't wander, man. And it's not necessarily like a female trait because other female cats will wander not as much as males in general, but this cat, she's just right here. She loves her big piece of cardboard that I try to keep clean. It's her earthing mat, right? That's the way I look at it. You know, she's probably a little more healthy out here right now anyway because it's perfect temperature. She's under a carport. She's under, you know, she's between a car and a the house and she's under a carport and you're on your earthing mat aren't you getting bombarded with electrons from the earth through your little paws and laying on your body so it's doing healing so we need to be doing All right earthing mat yeah actually I'm doing it right now got my knee on there <laughs> getting earthed. Earth through the cardboard. It's pretty wild how some of the simplest things in the world. This guy's still hungry. I'm going to get him some more food here in a minute. God, he's eating. There he is. He's still eating. Well, the guys, you don't even need all their food, man. I give them to Give them the boots in this guy. They're fuss pots, man. They keep, they just meow. You know what it is? The more you give to a cat, the more demanding they are. The more pushy they are. They just like, they just... This one at first, I was thinking, you're going to be impossible. But she was nervous. That's what it was. She was like, am I going to wind up only getting one meal? You know? Then she started getting more confident that I'd be over here for her all the time. Then she stopped bugging the shit out of me because I was like god man she was at first the first day or first couple days she was more work than five male cats put together but it's like she was nervous I think she was nervous that do I have a place now you know it's like she doesn't she's not, she's not a pain in the ass at all and actually she's not pissing at her pissing at her daddy right hey daddy what are you doing daddy huh What's up, Panda? You the dad? I know you're the daddy, aren't you? Go lick your lips if you're the daddy. <laughs> you still hungry? You know what? She's got some up here in her bowl. Yet yeah, I've been feeding her like crazy, man. Here, you gonna jump away? Here, there's some right here. Oops. Put that on top of that. You got some right here. Yeah. All right. Can you eat that? He's a little. He's still shy. <laughs> he's still a little shy guy. There he goes. There he goes. He's a pretty damn calm cat. This guy is. Very. I think eventually, if I wanted to, I could probably pet and pick this cat up too. Onyx was getting closer. She's a little jumpy. Um, the kittens. I only saw the kittens one time in um, security camera, so I don't know what the hell the deal is there. I don't know if, what the hell happened to them. But I don't even know where the hell they are. No idea. So. Boots was here last night. He got some wet food and dry food. And I gave her wet food a few times last night, plus some treats after that, because I was getting tired of giving her wet food. I was like, dude, what are you doing, man? You were eating so much. It's ridiculous. So she's slowing down now, because she didn't eat that whole can this time. She just, you know, he's probably all right. He probably ate enough. There's a little bit left in there. He's a pretty big dude. 
He seems like a big, gentle Ben. That's what he looks like. Bootsy's. Bootsy's fairly aggressive. It's like he doesn't fight on. You know, he's not real aggressive, but you can tell he's a powerful cat. He is. He's not like. I don't know. He's all muscle. That's why I ain't gonna neuter her, man. I, could, I can't do that to that cat, man. I just can't do that. <laughs> so she'll be inside, hopefully, eventually. And um, I don't think the, I don't think Boots and this guy get don't, they won't have problems because I'll watch them. They come over here and eat together. See, he hangs out here too. See that? Well, I should be getting my power valve for my car today, hopefully, so I can get rid of these branches. <laughs> God, hopefully this damn thing will work right. It should be alright. I got two power valves in. One's going to be a spare. Only 15 bucks for two of them. So, it's a little part. It's a typical problem with um, the Hollies, which Demon Carb is based on. It's Barry Grant Demons. Is, they don't want to make those anymore, but basically it's like a tuned Holly. Um, typical problem, but, you know, I had to... I think I had that carburetor in that car since ew, maybe not 2005, maybe 2003, two, two or three. And like when Barry Grant was first putting out these carbs, and um, so it's been in there probably 15 years. So that's a pretty long stretch not to have any problems. It's a little freaking part. It's a typical part that you gotta. Change. It's easy to change, actually. So hopefully, I can reuse that gasket. Good. So, we got put put an Edelbrock on here. I don't know. A little 500 CFM. Yeah. By the way, I've been taking um, the activated charcoal. Um, I'm going to actually do a video on it later, but uh, I'm going to explain to you what, you know, throw it in this cat video. <laughs> it's like nobody's going to find what I'm saying here anyway. But, um, well, I'm going to tell you what I'll be saying later, basically. First off, you know, when people get on with these uh, fads, well, it's not a fad, it's a good thing, but there's so many other good things out there. It's like, you know... Longevity was proven with rhodidium, rhodi rhodium root, whatever you call that, rhodidium root, um, by over 20%. Now, actually, plain old activated charcoal, not plain old, activated charcoal was shown, I saw some studies that were 30 to 90% more longevity on rats. Then when they did this C60 in olive oil, which is like a spherical uh, um, charcoal, but not activated, and I said, that's a key, not activated. It's a vehicle, but it like traps the particles better, but it's not activated. They showed double longevity on rats. I was like, wow. But I'm going to tell you this. The, what I didn't pick up on, I had this activated charcoal for years, and I knew about what its uses are for. But I really never really took it. It was really for, I have a radiation emergency, chemical attack or something, or poisoning or some bullshit. I'll take it, right? But I really didn't take it that much. But what I didn't pick up on, I knew it had to be activated, which is really why it works the best. It's the same stuff for that's used in also the uh, nuclear biological chemical gas mask filters, your M17 gas mask, and your CPOG covered protective outer garment, mop protection for suit, whatever you want to call it, mission oriented protective posture, whatever. It's like that activated charcoal. It's used in the gas mask filters, it's used on those chemical suits on the inside, it's used in um, the, what do you call it, the water filters, right? It attracts, it, it filters out all the particles. What I didn't pick up on it until recently was this, when I says, oh, it clicked with something else. This is a biggie. It's negatively charged. 
the ch activated charcoal, when they say activated, it's negatively charged. I understood about adsorption versus absorption. Adsorption is adsorption is like it's like a sponge. It, it traps, but it traps it in more like it's better than a sponge. Where if it traps in a toxin, it can't come out, right? So absorption's like a sponge, but you can squeeze a sponge and take out whatever's in it. Adsorption is like it traps it in there permanently, and then it gets excreted, right? But the negatively charged, that's the key. That's what the activated means. Now, here's why, maybe you don't quite get what I mean by that exactly just yet. Hopefully, I'm not being too long-winded. But it's all microbes, viruses, bacteria, fungi, and toxins, and even like things that are cancerous or whatever, are positively charged. So if you have something negatively charged, it attracts positive. If So, in other words, it's like a magnet. So things that are good biofloor will not be positively charged. Now I guess the, the activated charcoal could maybe take some of that out too, but it's not going to attract it. It might get caught up in there because it traps anything going by it, right? But anything good is not is negatively charged, so it's going to repel from the negatively charged activated charcoal. So when I said, hey, negatively charged, I says, wait a minute, that's going to be pulling in all the bad stuff, because all the bad stuff is positively charged. That's why no electrons neutralize toxins and, and work against parasites, because they're destroying their natural state of charge. They're making them inert, whether it's a toxin or it's a parasite or it's a radiation. But I didn't quite get I didn't really understand about that. I didn't understand that that was. I didn't know it was activated. It meant negatively charged. So basically, it's working like an antioxidant. Same principle. It's attracting. What's well, attracting and pulling in anything bad? Because all the bad stuff is positively charged, just like a magnet. You have a positive magnet and a negative magnet. They attract. And then the negative magnet being the activated charcoal pulls in the positively charged toxins. All toxins are positively charged. That's the same as saying alkaline. I mean, excuse me, acidic. Alkaline is negatively charged. Alkaline is negatively charged. Positively charged is acidic. So it's pulling in it's pulling in all the bad stuff and trapping it inside where it can't get out then it gets excreted. I've noticed I says, well, it was almost like, I don't know if it was like, it felt like cleared up, like, like, sort of like an, even in the back of your neck or something like that and all around your head. It wasn't like real bad before or nothing, but I noticed it was almost like, wow, I feel way more alive and alert now, <laughs> you know, and, uh. I said, wow, that's freak that was within two days. So I'm gonna keep this crap up for probably at least, you know, a couple weeks, along with taking vitamin B three, nice and loads of loads of vitamin C, but not at the exact same time as the activated charcoal. I'm gonna try to vary them by an hour hour. But I've been taking God I'd say several grams of activated charcoal. Like in other words, it took a maybe a dozen capsules in a day, one or two at a time, during the day. That shit's really working, man. That shit's woo. Because it's like this. Say, for instance, you know, I think somebody once said, it was, it was I forgot who to, it was some woman who was probably got like 200 subscribers. She said, she dropped a, a freaking bomb that, to me, made a lot of sense. Um... Detoxification is way more powerful than, worth way more than nutrification. And that kind of makes sense. It's almost like if you had a bowl of food and you put a bunch of, I don't know, you put a bunch of cat crap in it from the litter. That represents the cut toxins, right? And you just keep adding, you know, cherries and, um, you know, whatever, um, fruits and whatever, best, the best foods to it. Well, if you got these little 
cat turds from the litter box in that food, it's like you want to make sure that's out of the food first. That's basically like a good rough comparison to detoxification. Oh, there he is. He's up there. See him? He's up there. Redneck parking, reelect. So he jumped down into the little spot down there. He goes in there. He might hide. He might be in there. He might stay in there. There's a little like room in there. So <laughs> nobody goes there. He's all protected in there. He might stay in there. He's near his daughter. There's a little spot inside that little thing in there. Like any, like pass where the bike is. It's a little ten by ten spot, and it's closed off. I bet you he goes in. I bet you he stays in there, and then he climbs out when he gets hungry. So he's protected in there. That's cool. So, and I know about detoxification. I'm taking maybe nice in the detoxify, but this activated charcoal is. See, eighty percent of your immune system is in your gut. Sometimes some people say 90%. And any of the bad microbes are in there. I, I think the activated charcoal is going to take out some of the good stuff. But generally speaking, it's it's going to really wipe out the bad stuff way more than the good stuff because of the charge. It's negatively charged. The bad stuff is positively charged, so they're going to attract. And the good stuff is negative. The good bioflora is negatively charged, so it's going to repel away from the... Um, the activated charcoal it still could get caught up in there but not no, nearly as much as the bad stuff so it's like it's cleaning out you know because actually when your health is actually in your gut in, in your small intestines that's why when you alkalize or take alkaline foods or alkalizing foods more accurate because like lemons and watermelons might not be have a pH that's alkaline right from the get-go, but they're alkalizing once they get processed and you know, digested. Because um, it's the ash from the lemon that's actually alkalizing. The lemon itself is acidic. So you take alkalizing food, it gets down into your bioflora in your gut, it goes through your small intestines, and it kills off all the bad stuff because it's alkalizing. It actually pushes out the bad stuff. But in the case of activated charcoal, especially if you're taking it with fiber fiber is going to screw up the inside of your intestines and stuff it's going to take out everything with it because everything that's bad with it because it's negatively charged and it's attracting positively charged bad microbes and toxins they're always bad microbes and toxins are always always positively charged that's also the same as saying acidic and you got to remember when you're saying acidic in, you know, the food before you eat it, you know, sometimes it gets confusing because a lemon is extremely acidic in its pH before it's consumed. But once it's consumed and processed in the body, it is the most alkalizing food there is. That and watermelon, like the two most alkalizing going. Lemon being, I think, number one. But the thing is, if you're alkalizing your body with taking alkalizing food, it's going to take, it's like adding something to the, to the bad stuff, and it's trying to push the bad stuff out. Whereas the activated charcoal is attracting the bad stuff, trapping the bad stuff inside better than the sponge because it's locking it in there. It's like once it gets in the activated charcoal, it doesn't come out. It's attracting it with the charge negatively charged and then it's getting excreted so you're really detoxifying like a whole smokes a lot way more way more and I'm assuming the reason it's giving the longevity to the rats is because when those toxifications are taken out they're not getting into the bloodstream or anything like that the body doesn't have to fight them and all this garbage it's a dirt cheap method. Now, as far as C60 olive oil, C60 olive oil may be really good, but C60 olive oil is not negatively charged. It's not activated charcoal. It's, it's a spherical design, and it's more mild than the other stuff, you know, the activated charcoal. 
The other thing is, it's way more money. I mean, for like 50 bucks, you get this little thimble of it, like that big or something. I don't know, four ounces. And for 50, 25 bucks, I can get bottles of activated charcoal that'll last ridiculous amounts of time, you know. So, I don't see what, I don't see the value of getting C60 olive oil. It's like, you know, in other words, just Cliff High put a thing out on it, and it's like everybody's buying it. It's like, you know, I mean, I could tell you about uh, niacin, true nicotinic acid. It, it detoxifies, it actually explodes fats that are that, that trap toxins. If there's a lot of toxins in the fats, not only takes the toxins out of the fat cells, if the fat cell has a lot of toxins in it, it explodes the fat, and freaking destroys the fat cell. And, you know, you, if you try to lose weight, your fat cells shrink. They don't go away. But with niacin, if you got fat cells that are trapping a lot of toxins, those cells, those fat cells will go away. They'll be destroyed. That's why if you take niacin B3, and then you, a couple hours later, you take, you know, with, with vitamin, niacin B3 with uh, vitamin C, and say well, nature's way alive is some pretty good vitamin, overall vitamin. And then a couple hours later, you start taking somebody, uh, you know, after those vitamins get through you, and they're all digested. And then later on, you start taking the uh, activated charcoal. Well, you're going to really detox the hell out of everything. And that's, that's what I've been doing. So, hopefully I get that, because Wednesday morning, i got to get up around 6 o'clock or some shit and uh, get her ready to go to the vet day after tomorrow I don't want to be too tired out to do this shit because <laughs> I pretty much work seven days a week man <laughs> you know that you might not think that but I do I work seven days a week because I don't just do this YouTube stuff man I'm at the CPA firm and everything else and um, you'll see you know I upload videos every day on YouTube so it's like I'm doing projects for the CPA firm when I'm home I'm at the CPA firm and I'm doing this and I'm working on a lot of stuff that sometimes I don't even video so I'm pretty much you know and I'm glad I got more energy now it seems like I got energy like I had some years ago I don't know who the hell that chick was that put that video out about detoxification is more important than nutrification um, but um, she didn't have many subscribers but that's a that is a major key thing that's it's very true um, she said she used to run cross-country in high school and now she's I don't know how old she was she's late 40s she's running faster now than she ever did I remember when I was doing working out in the gym yeah I'm gonna I'm going along in this video sorry but when I was working out for from when I was 50 to 56 or 7 I used to work out like three hours a day Every day, at least, sometimes six, six. One time I worked out eight hours a day. I mean, real, real workout, solid. Um, it was an elliptical machine. It was set really high. People weren't even setting that machine that high to that intensity for even 20, 30. Yeah, it probably went so long. It was tight. But, you know, this is going to be buried in this cat video, so fuck it. I don't give a damn. But um, when I was working out, People would say, that's unhealthy. Why the hell are you doing that? That's, you're going to die of you know, all this kind of shit. I was taking like extracts of blueberry, green foods, rye grasses, I mean, everything. And I still kind of do a lot of that stuff. I mean, I was taking like 50 million natural supplements that were not just vitamins or something, but they were extracts of different plants, foods, and I was eating vegetables and fish, and that was pretty much it, right? And coconut oil and herbs up to yin yang turmeric oregano freaking you name it right and but you know the big deal is why i felt like i had so much energy back then even though i was probably getting four or five hours sleep and i was really working at the cpa firm a lot and driving like freaking fifty thousand miles a year literally to all these freaking places all over the place in florida um i what was going on during that three hours was i was getting so hot that I was sweat out so much that I was detoxifying. 
And I think that's one of the keys. I was working to such a high intensity that, I mean, it was a gallon of water that came out of me, man. That's why I knew about taking trace minerals and stuff. But I was detoxified like crazy. And it was before I was even on YouTube. But if you look back in my 2012 videos, if you see anything like that, or 2013, you can see I was a lot slimmer. But I was a lot slimmer before that. Like 2011, 10, 12, 12 9, 8, 7, whatever. All that. I was a way lot slimmer than that. I was down at, on my um, Iron Man body fat scale. I was 8%, 7% body fat. Had ribs showing. Yet it was muscle. And that was in my 50s. So, but you know, three hours a day, man, is killing some serious time. We used to take, what I might do is, I don't know, I don't know. But I think I got toxified, so I don't really have the energy that seems to get all that working out done. And it seems like this activated charcoal has, has been the main thing that really bit, made the difference. I noticed an energy boost with the Beck Bio, the Beck, tune, um, the Beck Electrifier, but it only works while I'm using it. But um, I noticed somewhat of an energy boost when I was taking extra Nature's Way Alive vitamins. And But I noticed a huge energy boost when I took a lot of this activated charcoal after a couple of days. It was like, wow. So that's telling me that took out a lot of toxins and I heard it does but I believe it now I believe it that's good because if I got the energy now I'm gonna get that shit done <laughs> kitty's gonna get fixed and I'll be working out every day and getting all the shit all the other work done I have to do for the, you know counting work and all this other shit plus uploading more videos and stuff so anyway that sounds good because once you get toxified it kind of works like an avalanche where everything else starts slowing down and once you get on a roll where you get detoxified you got more energy you can do more working out you can start doing more you get you have more energy where you eat less and everything else right so it counts so when them confederates were having a march on their on their with your bare feet, you got detoxified too. <laughs> no way. Wait, look at that thing blowing, man. It's pretty wild, huh? I saw a few of those out there yesterday. Roscoe. I wish we had a sheriff as honest as Roscoe. Probably don't. I mean, I read something about, I'm just going to say this in here. I read something in um, Polk County, Florida. They arrested. 277 people, including cops, doctors, pharmacists, former sheriff, an active duty USMC colonel, a former, plus a former uh, military, they were high up, plus a former sheriff in a drug sex thing. I don't know what the hell it was. And then they're bragging that, you know, this shows how our, our police force and our community is so safe because we got rid of these. You arrested these 277 people. I was like, you know, they've been doing this shit for probably 15 years or more, at least. It was like going back 16, 17 years. I was thinking to myself, you probably just got the tip of the iceberg. Man, I'm fed up with all the government, man. I don't give a damn if it's from D.C., it's from the state, or it's from the counties. They're corrupt everywhere. Who the hell needs this garbage, man? That's my beef. The more, the more rules they make, the more little fees and regulations and the more little bullshit they think up, the, the, the more unsafe we are. That's really what's going on, man. They, it's ridiculous. It's like, holy shit. So it was amazing they had the gumption to freaking brag that that makes them, that shows their law enforcement is safe and their county is safe. And they're like, yeah, right. It shows they're not. <laughs> it's probably just the tip of the iceberg for all I know. Man, I can't believe that shit. Anyway, Kitty Cat's doing fine. She's earthing. She's got the best food I can think of. And if it's not the best food, she's got some Willard water in it to give her some extra nutrient uptake. 
I think she's pregnant, and she's not like extremely pregnant. I'm going to ask him if there's any danger to her when she's getting fixed. Uh, if there's a danger, you know, that she has to have her kittens, and it's better to have her kittens, I'll do it that way. Because I'll, I'll, I'll tell him that. I'll tell him that. Because right now I'm looking at like it's a, it's a Catholic endorsed in, in abortion because, um, you know, the Pope says, you know, if you get raped when you're underage, you know, hey, you can have an abortion, right? It's not just because of the liberal shit. <laughs> I think that's why she's uh, kind of uh, hissy fizzy <laughs> with the other cats. And I think she'll come around with that because she really is a laid back cat. She is super friendly with me, and I think she's going to wind up being that way with other cats, especially my guys inside because all three of them are fixed, and they're not going to bother her like in that way. They're just. Because Rocky was coming up to her going, meow, meow. She goes, hiss, hiss. But I think she's got to get to know what's going on. So, you know, she's just scared. Rocky used to hiss all the time, too. That was that was fear. That was fear. The guy is a kitten and a half now, right now. So, and that's how I think she's she's probably going to be super sweetie all the way. I might just keep calling her Gold Digger, but I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not, it's not a bad term. Diggy, whatever the hell it is. It's not a bad term. I mean, she's a sweet cat, so I like her. <laughs>